November 8, Zulu Radio Yankee. November 8, Zulu Radio Yankee, 59, uh, Choctaw County. QSL, QSL, you are 59 in Middlesex County, Connecticut, Middlesex County, Connecticut. Uh, you're in Connecticut. QSL. Uh, QSL, Connecticut. All right, thank you for the contact. Hey, good luck tonight, sir. Thank you so much. I need ZRY up. Yeah, this radio, this R390, it's a lot of fun, but the one thing it's missing, some way to transmit and receive. I mean, it'd be really great to just, you know, grab a microphone and reply to some of these calls. So I'm going to look into that today. I'm going to show you how I hacked the R390A, um, how I hacked its, uh, its LO signal chain so that it can be used as a, um, a transceiver. So normally the receiver is only used as a receiver, but it's such a wonderful receiver. It's, it's, such a, it's a real bummer when you can't... Um, you know, reach out and communicate with the people you're listening to on that uh, receiver. You know, especially when you're, um, you know, tuning through the hand band. So I'll show you what I did to make the R390A uh, a transceiver. Basically, um, the R390A has uh, three mixers, and on one of the mixers, the VFO is connected. The VFO tunes from 3.455 megacycles to uh, 4.455 megacycles. Now the interesting thing is the output of the VFO uh, is fed through a 50 ohm uh, coaxial connector uh, to the uh, front, the RF uh, chassis into a um, mixer of some kind. So this is the RF chassis. It's actually a little uh, 50 ohm connection there. So you can break that connection and um, you can pull off the VFO. Uh, there's quite a bit of drive there, um, more than enough to actually split the VFO uh, 3 dB in two. So what I did was I split the VFO here, put a 3 dB uh, power divider right here. I then fed the VFO into a mixer where I multiplied it by a continuous wave frequency source at uh, 8.455 megahertz. Okay. I then um, amplified this and filtered it at 6 megahertz. Because what I did was I fed the, the product of this acting as an offset The product of this 8.455 megahertz and the VFO, which goes from 3.455 to 5 megahertz, I, I want to uh, basically shift this over to 5 to 5.5 megahertz, which is what my 20 meter uh, homebrew single sideband transceiver requires. And actually a lot of transceivers have VFOs that go from 5 to 5.5 megahertz. So this was fed down to um, to my transceiver's uh, LO port. Okay, so at uh, so this guy goes to the frequency mixer on my uh, so if we call this the this is the frequency mixer on the 390. I guess let's label them like this. This is the this is just the 20 meter single sideband. So this product here goes to the LO port, and um, what that does is it synchronizes the R390's receiver with the uh, 
transmitter over here. Um, the next thing that had to happen is there had to be a transceive action between the, uh, the transmitter on, on this side and the receiver over here. Uh, unfortunately, uh, my 20 meter sideband radio I built it very modularly, so I was able to actually um, add a coaxial relay between the, um, basically there's a few other modules that go here and between the exciter. Actually, looks like this. Between the exciter and the R390 antenna port. So one, so uh, normally closes on the 390's antenna port, normally open is on the exciter. And this goes to the uh, pre-driver and power amp and then you know, the filters and so on and so forth inside this 20 meter sideband radio. Um, of course the coil of this relay was tied into the PTT circuit uh, of the uh, 20 meter transceiver. So with all this, it's actually a pretty simple implementation. I, added, I did one more thing. I added one more relay coil here. Or rather I tapped off the relay once more and I sent this to the break-in on the R390 and I turned on uh, full break-in. So when you key down uh, the transmitter it'll, it'll mute the R390 and shut it down uh, while transmitting. So this is basically what was done to make the R390A uh, work uh, in concert with a single sideband transmitter and have an R390A uh, transceiver. Okay, here's the setup. Uh, down here in the floor, that's the offset oscillator at 8.455 uh, megahertz. I found that another 300 hertz of offset works. Uh, helps actually because something's off by 300 hertz somewhere and that's just fine. Um, it could be, it's probably likely actually the BFO inside of my uh, transmitter. Here's the single sideband transmitter. Um, nothing here actually works anymore. It's all uh, controlled by the R390A, which is right there. And let's show you what's going on inside the R390A. So what we have here is this is where the, the um, VFO input is right there. I've removed the VFO coax and I put it here where the IF output usually goes. So you can kind of see that right there. And I've uh, fed the IF output to uh, the, well, it's not the IF output anymore, it's actually the LO out. The LO out goes to this power splitter where it's split in two. One, of a, one port goes to the LO port of this mixer. The other port comes back around here and back into the R390. That's where we split the two. Now the offset oscillator, they're shown way over there, uh, sitting on the ground. Its input comes into here, so it's multiplied by the R390's LO. The product of the two is amplified in this little amplifier. Uh, there is a uh, 6 megahertz low pass filter to reject the spurs. And this is just a bench supply to power everything. Now here's the inside of the radio, the uh, transmitter itself. Um, I designed and built this transceiver myself. Uh, I made it in a very modular fashion um, because it's so much easier to work on and troubleshoot. And what I've added here is this little box which contains a, just a simple relay. What happens is the R390's receiver, which is uh, connected right here, is fed in through this coax right here into this relay. Uh, the exciter, which is right here from the transceiver, is fed into the relay. And both of which, you, the relay selects either the exciter or the R390 to go into the um, the uh, bi-directional front end, which contains an LNA and the uh, exciter, or rather the, sorry, the pre-driver for transmit. And that's how it works. <clears throat> One of the extra legs on the relay was you, was tied to ground, and this um, wire was fed over here to the break-in. So when you hit transmit, it does break in and mute the R390. Um, the relay's coil was wired into the PTT circuitry of this radio, which 
you know, when you build them and design radios yourself from scratch, all these things are very easily accessible. So that is how the R390A uh, is acting as a transceiver. You know, this procedure is so um, easy to implement, actually, that you could probably buy an old, um, you know, an old transceiver from the 70s with a and easily hack it to do just this and cover all the bands. I mean, this transceiver I have only covers 20 meters, but if I had like an old uh, Kenwood or Yezu from the 70s I'm willing to take apart, uh, I could easily turn this 390 into an all-band transceiver. So uh, just a thought for everyone out there that uh, this is very doable. Uh, next, we'll make several contacts on the R390 uh, transceiver and a number of those contacts are DX contacts, including the Azores, so should be a lot of fun. November 8th, Zulu Radio Yankee. November 8th, Zulu Radio Yankee, 59 in Choctaw County. QSL, QSL, you are 59 in Middlesex County, Connecticut, Middlesex County, Connecticut. QSL. Hey, good luck tonight, sir. Thank you so much. N8ZRYF. November 8, Zulu Radio Yankee. November 8, Zulu Lima Yankee. from Spain. You're five by nine. Over. QSL, QSL. You are five by nine in uh, Westbrook, Connecticut. Westbrook, Connecticut. This is November 8, Zulu Radio Yankee. Back to you. November 8, Zulu Radio Yankee. Zulu Radio Yankee, I correct the mistake. November 8, Zulu Radio Yankee, 5-9 from Spain, from Sugar 61, Dolphin Summary, Nova. Uh, QSL, QSL, uh, you are 5-9 in uh, Westbrook, Connecticut, Westbrook, Connecticut. Um, you got a great signal out here. I'll let you get back to DXing. This is November 8, Zulu Radio Yankee, 7-3. Okay, 72, Greg, 72, Charles, QRZ. November 8, Zulu Radio Yankee. And 8, uh, Zulu Radio is a Yankee, 59, Lauderdale County. QSL, QSL, this is November 8, Zulu Radio Yankee. Name here is Greg, Golf Romeo Echo Golf. You are 5x9, five 5x9 nine, five nine in Middlesex County, Connecticut. Middlesex County, Connecticut. Back to you, Kilo Tango 4, Tango X ray. November 8, Zulu Radio Yankee. Okay, Greg, I got everything but your state. The state over? State is Connecticut. State is Connecticut. Okay, Connecticut. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. I appreciate the QSL. State uh, ZRY from Kilo Tango, Fort Tango, X-Ray, Alabama QSO party. Good evening. Thank you. Two hours ahead. November 8, Zulu Radio Yankee. November 8, Zulu uh, Radio Yankee 59. Mm -hmm. QSL, QSL, you are 5-9 in Connecticut, 5-9 in Westbrook, Connecticut, on the coast, on the Long Island Sound. This is November 8, Zulu Radio Yankee. Back to you, sir. Roger, Roger, November 8, Zulu Radio Yankee. Uh, now I have you correct. Okay, great. 59, thank you. Mm -hmm.